This is Dapu7 with an earthquake update. And over here at Global Incident Map, you can see that around the Ring of Fire we have the normal activity. And of course, this map cuts like right here and it never does show us the full Ring of Fire. But when looking at multiple maps, you start to see something here recently that uh, is a change from in the past. Now mind you, I've been watching these quakes for years. Even if I don't do videos every day because there may not be something to talk about in depth about a specific swarm or, or, or an earthquake, one here or there, what I've noticed is a pattern. Noticed a pattern popping up that there's more and more quakes coming through in the Midwest. More and more. There's a little bit of a shift going on. Now right now we're looking at the past 30 days and we're looking at 2.5 magnitude or greater. Now, there's a big difference because if I, if they were to show the smaller quakes, this whole thing would be littered. If you were to go a little bit beyond 30 days, you would see even bigger quakes all through Kentucky here. And you can see that they've been hitting a 3.4. 3.4 right there in both those places in Ohio. 3.3 right here near the New Madrid. And this is what's catching my attention. These twos, threes are happening more often around the Midwest. And you can see they are centered around the New Madrid Fault. A lot of times they'll hit right around the keyhole. We can see there's been activity in Arkansas. We've seen activity in Georgia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri, Southern Illinois, and like I said, even up here in Ohio. But I've also noticed that this quake swarm that we've seen for the longest time out of Oklahoma stretches over into Kansas and goes all the way up to the top of Kansas where a 3.9 has struck, very shallow, on the border there with Nebraska. So, quakes in odd places, yes, and quakes popping up around known overdue fault lines like New Madrid. As we can see here, just today, another shallow quake striking in Yellowstone. You can see four hours ago, Kansas at 3.9. Just yesterday, there was a, a pretty big quake that struck there. We're starting to see a shift. A couple days ago, you could see a line, like all, almost around the old Craton plate that comes through here, where these quakes were hitting. And of course, three hours ago, right here in Yellowstone, we have more quake activity. Very shallow. Seven and three hours ago. We've actually had two in this exact same area. I'll keep an eye on this. If we start to see smaller quakes marching in a certain direction, that's when you know it's magma on the move underground. Sometimes it is anyway. It doesn't mean that it's going to come to the surface. But then again, you never know for sure. But I wanted to cover that and take a look here at some of the most recent, recent earthquake activity in terms of across the, the, the Midwest. And if you're going to Global Incident Map, it doesn't always show the quakes uh, from the, just the day before because of the runoff. Over here on USGS, you can get a pretty good look what's been going on throughout the past 30 days. In terms of 2.5 or greater, I really wish they had a one-point magnitude or greater, or just all magnitudes. You know what? They've got an all-magnitude 7-day. There we go. And you can see different earthquakes pop up. This is interesting. These patterns around New Madrid, and something I'm going to keep watching... And I'll continue to update on if I see any other big changes. But that's the latest in terms of quakes. It's been Dabu7. Peace.